And thank you for joining us today in Austin. A House committee heard witness testimony in support of a Palestine man who narrowly had his execution paused on Thursday. 57 year old Robert Robertson has been on death row for two decades for the death of his two year old daughter Nikki. On Thursday, we told you about it. You may remember his scheduled execution was stayed for 90 days by the Texas Supreme Court. And today, the House Committee on Criminal Jurisprudence heard testimony on whether Robertson was fairly convicted. KLTV's Lauren Teer has more tonight from Austin. Here at the Capitol and behind these doors all day, there has been a pretty extensive media and public presence. That includes people who are inside the hearing as well as outside. And of course, we're all here because of the actions of those on the Criminal Jurisprudence Committee. While Robert Robertson awaited his execution in Huntsville on Thursday, a district judge issued a subpoena for him to appear in court today in an attempt to pause the execution. After the Texas Supreme Court issued a stay of execution, that subpoena remained on the table. The state argues safety concerns with him testifying in person. As committee chair Joe Moody explained, however, Robertson's appearing in court virtually was deemed unfit. But Robert is a person with autism who has significant communication challenges, which was a core issue that impacted him at every stage of our justice system. Despite his absence, expert witnesses took the stand on his behalf. Dr. Philip McGraw, known to most as TV's Dr. Phil, gave testimony on his study of the conviction from its beginning, including an interview he conducted with Robertson. Dr. Phil supports the belief of Robertson's advocates that the conviction was based on debunked, shaken baby science. This man has not had a fair trial, and if we start executing people in Texas, absent due process, absent fair trial, we are going down a really dangerous road. That As today's hearing was happening, Governor Greg Abbott, who had previously been silent on Robertson's case, issued a statement condemning the committee's actions as a breach of the Texas Constitution's separation of powers clause. Governor Abbott stating the committee stepped out of line, that granting a stay is solely a power of the governor's office. Witness John Grisham, a longtime attorney and best-selling author, an praised these life. same actions. Uh, you took a bold stand against um, injustice at the precise moment when the courts and the leaders of the state seemed hell-bent on executing uh, Robert. As Governor Abbott's Thursday brief calls for the court to dismiss the committee's petition and vacate this injunction, it's unclear whether today's outcome will result in a new trial for Robertson. For now, Robert Robertson remains in Livingston in the Polunsky unit. In Austin, Lauren Tier, KLTV 7 News. As of right now, testimony is still going on at that hearing. Lauren is still there. The last person set to testify is Robertson's attorney, Gretchen Swin. We will keep you updated.